Working on the weekend like usual. Way off in the deep end like usual. Niggas swear they passed us, they doing too much. Haven't done my taxes, I'm too turned up. Virgil got a paddock on my wrist going nuts. Niggas call me slipping once, okay, so what? Someone hit the block up, I tell you if it was us. Man, a house in Rosewood, this shit too plush. Say my day's a number, but I keep waking up. Know you see my text, baby, please say something. Wine by the glass, man, a cheapskate, huh? Niggas gotta move on my release day, huh? Bitch, this is fame, not clout. I don't even know what that's about, watch your mouth. Baby, got an ego twice the size of the crib. I can never tell a shit, it is what it is. Said what I had to and did what I did. Never turn my back on MVG, God forbid. Virgil got a paddock on my wrist, doing front flips. Giving you my number, but don't hit me on no dumb shit. Working on the weekend like usual. Way off in the deep end like usual. Niggas swear they passed us, they doing too much. Haven't done my taxes, I'm too turned up. Virgil got a paddock on my wrist, going nuts. Niggas call me slipping, what's okay, so what? Someone in the block of my face. Shit. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Bloopers. <laughs> um, so my name is Christian Barrios and I'm known as Valley Meats in the car community. Um, so crazy enough, the start of my journey was actually back around like 2000, um, the end of 2015, early 2016. Um, I actually got my license, started driving, um, ended up crashing, um, which ironically is actually what sparked my passion for cars. Um, that didn't happen until 2017. Uh, so I've always been into cars growing up, but 2017 is definitely where it kind of sparked and I was like, hey, you know what? I think this is something that I want to do. Um, so, you know, going through that rough process of crashing my first car, um, I decided to go ahead and kind of start uh, building up from there, taking an automotive technology, you know, class in high school and everything just kind of moved forward from there. Yeah, so I mean, ever since that whole period in time, um, since then, it's just been full-on automotive. So um, right now, I'm currently at a um, program at De Anza College where I am studying automotive technology. We're learning a lot about chassis powertrain. Can I use your camera? Yeah. Yeah, so after high school, I decided that this was definitely something that I wanted to continue. Um, so I heard about the automotive technology program over at De Anza College, which is where I'm currently attending. Um, part of the De Anza Auto Tech program there, uh, known as the Main Day program. And it's definitely been a life-changing experience. It's definitely taught me a lot about cars that I honestly never thought I would know. Um, my first year there, uh, I spent taking my basic classes. The second year, um, I was accepted into the program since it is like an application process um, where I took engine rebuilding and machining. And then right now, I'm on my second year, or the second track, which is chassis powertrain. Mm -hmm. And uh, next year, I will continue on onto electrical and diagnosis. Well, so definitely, yeah, so actually, it wasn't my first car. So my first car was actually a Saturn SL1. Mm -hmm. um, the second car that I got was actually the car that I crashed. And that car was a gift from my dad. Mm -hmm. um, he handed me down a 1994 twin-turbo Toyota Supra. Um, so that unfortunately was the car that I crashed um, after a week of having it on the road. Um, crazy yeah. enough, I had smogged it the day prior uh, to me crashing it, which really sucked because we were getting everything ready to get registered. Um, you know, stupid young kid, um, wrong place at the wrong time. And so I knew for sure that that is definitely something that I wanted to go ahead and fix because realistically, if I sold that car, I would never own one again. Um, it's always been my dream car growing up ever since, you know, I watched Fast and the Furious. Um, so as a little kid, you know, I knew what my dad had and I knew that it was something special and it's just something that I wasn't willing to give up. Um, so out of the two cars that I currently own, um, you know, obviously, you know, building the Mazda Miata, getting it wrapped, doing a bunch of maintenance on it, um, you know, just building cars in general and the Toyota Supra, which are the two cars that I still own. Um, the Toyota Supra is definitely got to be the car that I'm the most proud of because uh, when I first got it I knew nothing about cars um, I decided to go ahead and start building it or fixing it after crashing it 
and I didn't even know what you know what coolant was. I didn't know how to use a wrench or how to use a ratchet. Um, and it was definitely the car that I you know decided you know what this is the car that I'm going to learn on. Uh, definitely scared the crap out of my dad. Uh, my dad really wasn't um, the most uh, how to how to say this like he was uh, he was definitely scared. Uh, for me to go ahead and start learning on that car because it's something that he was uh, you know always afraid of um, but I decided to go ahead and just kind of say you know what um, I feel like I decided to go ahead and start modding the Mazda Miata because it was a very cheap and easy platform to go ahead and you know learn on um, so the car itself when I first got it was pretty much bone stock um, I did have another Mazda Miata before this one I've actually had four in total so this is the third one that I have had um, and this one I decided to keep because it was a 1.8 and it had power windows, which is pretty much a luxury in the Miata community. Uh, but the reason I decided to go ahead and start modding this one was because I felt like this one was the one that I connected to the most, um, probably because of the 1.8. I just had all the features that I wanted. Um, so, you know, going to LA for my birthday weekend, um, and then seeing that there was a car show there, it kind of gave me the opportunity to be like, you know what, I'm just going to push myself to go ahead and get this thing ready. So in all that time, I got it wrapped, uh, changed out the poly bushing, or changed two poly bushings on the differential, made sure everything was up on maintenance, valve cover gaskets, um, you know, coilovers, wheels, that was all done a little bit prior to the roll cage. It also got a hard top, or not a roll cage, also got a roll bar. Um, the hard top was something that we also purchased recently. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, this has definitely been a long and, you know, very hard process, but it's definitely been a fun one. Okay, so we only have a minute left, and my last question for you is, for anybody who wants to start or become part of this community, what advice do you have to give to them before stepping into this world? Honestly, my advice to anybody who's trying to enter the car community is, don't care what anybody else thinks. There's a lot of greatness that happens in the car community, there's a lot of creativity, but there's also a lot of negativity too. Um, me personally, I found myself, you know, falling into a path where I listened to a lot of people and I started to notice that the builds prior to the Miata or before the Miata um, were being built because of what other people wanted to see. Um, I can honestly say that that's not the case anymore. I'm now building my cars because this is what I want. This is my dream. This is my goal. And so my honest advice to anybody trying to join the car community is just do what you can, do with what you got, and just go and give it a your all, regardless of what anybody else has to say.